sound, please. Rolling, rolling. A only, Mark. And back round. Hey, back shot. Mushroom from a $2 million a year business to $225 million in less than two years. And that's when I said, wow, this is more than just some movies. This is an industry. Let's stop the tax credits. It was going to be the next Hollywood, and pretty much overnight that, that disappeared. Some 38 other states have film and center programs, so what we've done is lost a competitive advantage. If you look at what used to be in L.A. for 70 years, in the last five years of film incentives, which will not last forever, that has moved around the country to major establishments in Georgia, major establishments in Louisiana. And we were looking at one point actually shooting in Massachusetts, which is where the story took place. And Massachusetts also has a good incentive program. Uh, but when we did a comparison and we looked at the, the budget comparisons and the incentives that were available in Michigan, it was more cost effective for us to shoot it in Michigan. Been gone for five years and just recently moved back here. And what precipitated your move back to The Michigan? tax incentive. Really? 100%. Oh, yeah. As soon as I heard that, actually, I made calls. I'm like, I'm, going, I'm coming back home. I really wanted to come back to this state and say thank you and show the movie that we made, you know, here together. Batman versus Superman moving from location to location around Detroit. It's been so exciting to see them here. It all happens inside when the sun goes down and the lights go on. I've been in the lo location management for about the past 20 years. Um, quite literally, the, with, with two weeks before the incentives uh, bill actually passed, um, I started getting phone calls and my phone started ringing off the hook. I got eight phone calls one day, five another, and it was just, uh, I didn't even know what to do with myself. The artists are here and the creativity is here. We just need the support for us to all take it to the next level. It's new opportunities and it's a great time to be in Michigan. It is insanely important to have a hub for creative people here in Michigan. Hey, 513's our time now to a developing strand of Lansing tax credits for Hollywood. Could be on the chopping block if some lawmakers get their way. If we want to continue to diversify our state's economy and build up a workforce that is permanent, we must not support this bill. I urge my colleagues on both sides to oppose this legislation and let the changes made last year have time to be implemented. I strongly urge my colleagues to vote no on House Bill 4122. It's good for Michigan's local communities and it's good for Michigan's families. I think most of us are reeling from the standpoint of just a couple weeks ago, the governor signed a bill that said our film incentives have gone away. So we've gone from unlimited to 50 million to 25 million to no incentives whatsoever. It's not just a windfall as it might be to a studio, it actually becomes a necessity for an independent film. In order to get the movie financed, you actually need those incentives. And the program was working pretty well, uh, but now it's life after the incentives. <laughs> and I, for one, believe that uh, we're going to be fine and you know, our attention's going to kind of go to our indigenous filmmakers and we're going to bolster what we have locally. We are blessed with incredible talent, crews, creativity, great locations, and we're going to rock and roll. It's a billion dollar industry that is the future of the country. It's one of the best exports we still possess that cannot be shipped overseas. Highly educated jobs, highly desirable jobs. But the Avengers movie by Marvel was their number one movie, and it left and went to Ohio when all this started. Georgia started out the same as we are, and they're making movies year round. They're a farm club for our people. We train them up here with our movies, and then they go down there for continuous work because we have none. 